Hello, I'm back at camp and I'm heating water with PV panels. And these are the same PV panels that are also charging my batteries. Uh, this is the controller I talked about in some previous videos. It uses a 300 watt eBay inverter board, which only costs you about five bucks. Uh, it's modified and there's a little circuit add-on to it and uh, we add five capacitors. We have uh, two capacitors on the input voltage and uh, after the switch we have another three capacitors. These are all 1200 microfarads. Uh, you can put anything in there as long as you get over a couple thousand microfarads. This LED indicates that uh, we're putting power into the heater. This LED indicates that it's inhibiting somewhat. Uh, we're drawing power right now into the battery so uh, uh, it's down to a power point of uh, 61.4 volts and we're about 2 amps a little over 2 amps it's a very cloudy day and this is when you need a, a controller that will keep the panels at power point because if you connected them directly you'd be down to about 20 volts right now or maybe even 10 so if we follow this line going down you can see it goes to the water heater and down there is a standard water heater control uh, that comes with every water heater and we're going to be switching 60 volts DC 60 volts and higher and uh, one thing everyone teaches you is you can't switch DC with relay contacts over about 30 volts because you get a gigantic arc well I'm going to show you something very dramatic uh, this is in, in series with the thermostat as you can see the light goes bright and the other one goes off on off on off you can see the voltage change going up to 68 you can see the current change and you say hey I didn't see anything what's so dramatic about that well without this circuit you'd be drawing a half inch arc from those connections right now uh, remember it's right on copper one of the worst metals to be switching high voltage with and uh, this system really works I did some re videos previously on it but that was all kind of theoretical but this is a system actually working it's uh, not too expensive to build and I want to show you basically what it is uh, up top we have our PV pa panel voltage going in uh, it goes to a couple of capacitors which just store the charge because we're turning on and off and anytime the panels aren't supplying power to the water heater uh, that power is going into the capacitor and being stored for when the uh, water heater turns on again on the other side of the switch remember we got the uh, thermal overload which is the emergency you have to manually reset that and below that is the thermostat so below that we sense the voltage on these capacitors and when it drops below a certain voltage uh, it just shuts this board off and when we uh, so I have the, uh, the that little bit of copper wire there in series with the thermostat and so when we open that up the voltage on the top capacitors is the same as the voltage on the lower capacitors so basically you're opening up the contacts with uh, almost zero voltage potential and the inverter shuts off immediately when it senses the voltage dropping just a little bit and uh, the system works allows you to switch with no arcs whatsoever so this is my message for today you can heat water at your camp uh, they have little six four and six gallon water heaters that uh, you could hook this up to and it will work with your existing system and when you have just average days you'll ni have nice hot water at the sink uh, probably enough to take a quick shower I mean this is ideal for a small camp I'm heating 30 gallons of water here with my system but anyway, having some hot water at the sink 
is nice. So this is the message. You don't have to, you know, live like a hermit out there. You can have hot water. I even have a dishwasher with heated dry. And I only have one battery in my system. Uh, the secret is having more solar panels than what most people do and less battery. And operating things when, you know, the sun shines. But uh, it's really nice having hot showers at night. And this is all free energy. It's energy that you would be wasting. So that's the message for today. Thanks for watching.